Uh, gave a double well. You know how it spells, you know how we do. Lavenderette coming at you from the middle of nowhere. The center of everywhere. I'm gonna tell you about this game called GeoGuessr. I'm giving it my stamp of approval. So let's check it out. Uh. Here we are. It's your Friday. Dose. Of some GeoGuessr. How you doing? You know. I had to refresh myself. As funny as that is. Because I didn't actually... I, I hear that thing all the time. And I've noticed a thing now that... I used to be very confident in my ability to say F words for a lot of things I listen to. But then, when it actually comes to reciting them again, I have problems remembering how it's actually said. And for some reason, the second I hear the song actually being played, know all the words, can say it right along with it. But I have to pause for a sec and try to remember. Because apparently my memory of song lyrics isn't as good as I thought it was. But that's just something I've gone literally nowhere and learned nothing. That's just something you learn about yourself. Wait, why don't we go farther down this road? Okay. Um, this looks a lot like a lot of things I see. Very reminiscent of home. And I just want to make sure Valley View whitetails, huh? Well, they hunt whitetails in the northeast. I have hunted said things. Trophy hunts, breeding stock, and scents, huh? This must be a maybe a ranch of some sort. Some people um, pay to go on people's property. Well, you can pay for it, or you can uh, sometimes ask nicely. Is that Randolph? It's Bowen Gun Club, I believe that is. And I'm still trying to find out where the hell fresh peaches. That that could be in the south. Although I found they grow peaches very close to where I live, which I thought was weird. I don't know if I should really bother keeping as ambiguous as I am about where I live. I think through osmosis I might have said enough stuff to actually geolocate where I am, but I don't know why I feel like hesitant to tell people that. I mean, there's really no reason not to. Pretty much everybody who watches my stuff, I found, is not even from my own country. Which, I'm not complaining because I'll take all oncomers and on-watchers, and I thank you all for doing so. But it, I, I just want to know how this worked, that maybe it's from all the geo guesser locations that I find here that really don't um, have a lot to do with the U.S. or maybe like specific... specific um, Places in Europe maybe don't get as much, maybe traffic? I don't know, because honestly, this, uh, I gotta find something, Swamp Road. I'm not finding anything here. The only thing I've got to go by so far is this stereotype that Georgia is the peach state, so I'm gonna go with that. This is a transfer station, but this is farmland, and this is temperate forest, which means this is around the fall time because the leaves are changing. And... Some have already fallen off the tree. This is rural somewhere. I feel like I've driven down this road many a times, but... If you guys don't know what fall's all about, I'm sure you've seen enough photos at this point to actually... Get a good idea as to what it is. I just imagine an entire forest of it. Well, maybe this will help me, because usually... Municipalities at New York... Municipalities... Usually have... Something that helps you find out exactly where we are. Um, well, upstate New York is literally anything that's not New York, from what I've been told. Uh, let's see what we got. I mean, maybe it's because I've grown up here and I don't seem to... Oh, time ran out faster than I thought. Maybe it's because I grew up where I did and I don't really care so much about the... Uh... I bet this is Russia. I don't really care about the changing of the... Uh leave so much yep so this is katav river got no idea where that is so once again roll that dice and is that a pile of that's doo-doo baby that's a mule or a horse of some sort but maybe just because i've grown up around here i don't care i don't have the um What's the word? Discon I'm not discontented about those who 
come to look at the leaves and be like, hey, you want to go right around the, the, the uh, our, our, our roads and uh, take a look at our stuff? By all means, go right ahead. Um, I, I enjoy it, but I'm just like, hey, okay, it's fall. Get some cool pictures. If I was a better photographer than I am, and I'm not, I would sit there and take better photos or maybe take more time, do the aperture stuff. Um, something about shutter speeds and resolutions and pixel rates and SDRLRIs. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna. That's all the terminology I know now. But I don't know. I'm kind of fine with it. Although this type of road, I, I mentioned before about driving around the roads. Again, it's probably another byproduct of growing up where I did. And I don't think it's like unique just to me. I'm sure that. Wherever you grew up, you kind of have a, a, a level of nostalgia, maybe, for uh, certain things you used to do, regardless of how monotonous it was as a child or as a adult that or teenager who actually had the ability to drive would do. But I really enjoy driving down roads like this, or if this was pavement, driving down these back roads that are winding and meandering. Like, I, it, it's cathartic to me. I find a level of relaxation in it. it it's, it's it's just fun. It's good scent. Is that a picture of... I'd like to imagine that's a picture of his cat. But I don't think it is. This is a logger of some sort. He has not been in the... In, in the... Off the road. Recently, because his tires would probably be wet all around it. See, these are the things you can pick up if you want to be a detective. You gotta observe these things. My guess is he just picked him up on the side of the road just like this. And he's taking him back for his cat to scratch them because he loves his cat. This, uh, I'm going to put up here again. Is, who the fuck knows? Maybe it's up here. Maybe it's not that high up. I don't know where the Arctic Circle is off the top of my head, but... Unless I see a guy walk standing on the side of the road with a sign above his head saying... Yo, we're here. I don't think uh, I'm going to get any closer than just country. We got it. And another thing I'm probably going to do, I don't know if this drives you mad, but it, it drives me a little crazy just because this mouse is insanely loud. And every time it clicks, I just hate it. Now, the way that I have my desk set up is kind of... Uh, it's impossible for me to have the mic away from my face and not be near where the mouse is. I could, like, buy a lamp and then put the microphone thing on there away from the mic, but I have a gate set up already. I don't think if I put it any higher, I wouldn't be able to actually talk and not have it pick up the mouse. So, again, I don't know if it's one of those things that now that I've drawn your attention to it, you're just going to be like, yeah, you're right, I hear it all the time, and it's going to drive you nuts. So if that's the case, please don't do that and just go back to realizing now that you're manually blinking. You just did it again. Anyway, um, those type of roads are fun. Just like the potholes, you have to, uh, you develop this uh, sense of it when you. Well, I guess I was kind of close that other time I uh, clicked, but whatever. It's a sense you get from driving. You look probably about ten to fifteen feet in front of you, and the only way you can get away with that is because you're in such a rural road. You don't have to worry about um, people coming. And you just kind of... God fucking... Ugh. This is a hindrance to my ability to stay over 20,000 again. These type of roads. But you can only get away with the, the, that, that, those tactics I mentioned before in... Why did you blame... Why are you blurring this out? There's no way I know anything about the Pravdinishk. Pravdinishk. It's P-R-A-V-D-I-N-S-K. Pravdinsk? Whatever. But, just talking, it, I'm going to finish up that stupid thing about the dirt roads again. You look kind of like 10, 15, 20 feet ahead of you, watching the potholes, and if they're like in succession like you saw in that previous place we are at, you're able to swerve around, miss all those things, and maintain speed. I mean, don't do this if you've... Never done it before, because I'm a trained professional. But, there's just little things that you... Why is that blurry? But it's just these little things you notice. When you're, uh... Growing up in 
backwoods like I am. This seems deliberate that they put all these trees along the route here, and they all have this band up a certain level, which makes me think that this got flooded. Or they're very specific about their uh, demarcations on trees to let you know that you're driving past trees and you're, you have like a half inch of... Uh, no, this is totally paint. You have a half inch of like leeway on either side of the road, so don't crash your cars. This is like the most primitive form of rumble strips you'll see inside the roads is literal trees that have... That if this was summer or fall of some sort, although this probably feels like late September. Again, it depends on the time of year. But this is a nice little effect, you know, they're going for where you're just like this constant hole just through trees. And it would be fun to actually drive through this. But again, I have no idea where this is. Like, this is a mix between some swamp. I'm not going to put us that far over. Why not? I, I've got no idea. I didn't see anything on those. That's a Citroen. Again, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but I can't. I forgot how to do those two dots above the E here. So, Citron. Citron. Like, my, my throat stops working when I think about it too much. And whoa, 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 whoa. Let's uh, get back on that road. I have a minute left, and I might have seen a road sign of... Oh, this doesn't help me. That does not help me. And anyway, there's no stop signs apparently in Russia. It's all yield, because they know. No one drives these things. Oh, this probably just says... Yep, that's... O-E. These are two different versions of an E. Orsk. Orsk. Oersk. Oer. Ugh, stop. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Not, not going to bother. Let's just go this way because we're just out for a drill ride. I'm not going to see anything that's going to help me any more than this. Unless this gives me a highway sign. It didn't. Oh, so it's a umlaut above that, which makes me feel like for no other reason we're closer to this direction, because I don't really remember ever seeing umlauts on anything Russian, which makes me feel like we weren't in Russia. We are actually in Eastern Prussia. <sighs> yeah, whatever. I got the country right, because that's that little nugget of space. Oh, this is England. It's in that little nugget of uh, Ostprussen, I believe is how it's said in Ru uh, German, but it's Eastern Prussia to the Russians, I believe, and I don't know how it ended up with them still in control of that little chunk of land. But whatever. I don't know what's so special about it. I didn't do the research involved to find out. But all I know is the constant feeling of rain here. We're in we're in a very backwoodsy area. This almost feels like I've been here before. This is a let's just see this. John Smith's bitter. Well, you can't get any more English, I believe, than John Smith's or bitter. Or this MG that a friend of my dad's friend had at one time. That's a Jaguar behind it. Or how the British, British say Jaguar. Although I don't have a British accent. Although they do say that the American accent, whichever dialect you want to talk about, is actually more closely related to the accent that English people had back when they colonized here just because when we moved over here we kept the dialect we had there and it did not evolve past that just because you know we we just this is the Thatcher cottage I believe just because we moved over here kept the dialect and didn't evolve although now that I'm saying that out loud that sounds like it makes as much sense as the English had the same accent when they moved over here, but the ones that stayed in England developed their own path to their modern English. I, mean, I don't know. You hear like linguists or whatever they're whatever they're called talk about 
Am I going to get to see... Okay, we're now Chelmsford. I've seen Chelmsford before. If I remember correct. Whoa, camera, come on. Like, Chelmsford... Wasn't it around here? I'm going to say it was. Lieutenant Waltham. I'll take your word for it. That's the something... Well, we're going to go this way because it said... Uh, actually, we're not. We're going to go into town. Or we're going to go in the direction that there's more houses. There's no more houses. <laughs> That's probably a highway over there. Oh my god, I'm a genius. What does it say? Parking in 100 yards. Give me... Highway sign. Chelmsford, A131. A131, the A130. Oh boy. 303, 303, 130s. Where are the 130s? Arrowgate, Beverly, uh, Chelmsford. I have 42 seconds to try to find it. Can I zoom out one more? Uh, I can for some... Okay, that doesn't help me. Is there any other... A130, fucking Chelmsford. Wait, what's that say? What's that say? That's the road sign I was just looking at. God, I got 20 seconds. Chelmsford! Was it the one... 131? 131, shit. Uh... Uh, uh. I should stop re-second guessing because I'm always good on the first guess. Let's see how close I am making the guess right now. Uh, Chelmsford is a big enough... Town, you feel like I would have been able to see that. Is that the 131? Oh, I would not have been able to see that in any time. All right, I'll give you four stars, England. You you earned it. This looks like the scene from that one shot in uh, 007. Which one was it? They had uh, Benicio Del Toro. Not Benicio Del... Yeah, it was Benicio. Wasn't it Benicio? No. No, was... no, I'm thinking of Guillermo. Lanflutinar. I feel like we are above the Arctic Circle, or we're high enough in the elevation that trees don't exist. I think one's more plausible than the other. Oakum Varlaga, we do have a radar station of some sort. Uh, that is a Dodge Caravan, which doesn't feel like it should be here, because this feels like... Um... North, north, like, above Arctic Circle. Up here somewhere. And it's got this great here. Unless this is in the south, but I don't know. I need to see road signs. I don't know if I'm going to see road signs. Uh, did I pass a... Was I just seeing, like, a snowbank? If this turns out to be South America, this will ruin me. Come on, get down the get down here. I mean, I that that truck totally did not have a South American country's language speaking word. I'm only gonna click a little farther until I m hopefully get around this river bend here, as she Pocahontas sang in her famous, which I'm assuming is famous because I never actually saw that Disney movie. Just around the river bend. But everyone has that, uh, come on, let's get closer. Um, this is Iceland, and the only reason I know this is because in sixth grade, again, another dumb thing that I wish I didn't remember, in sixth grade, we had to do reports on anything we wanted to, and I wanted to do my report on Iceland because it was really interesting to me because reasons. I mean, I really couldn't tell you why other than that. I just see this country up here called Iceland. It just seems interesting that it's here. I know nothing about it. So I did my report on it. And one of the things I remember from it is that in Icelandic, they have specific words. Kind of like how in... Ukraine, they have like one or two letters that are different from Russian. I don't know what Iceland is closely similar to, but this right here is a Icelandic 
uh, either symbol or word that they put the slash in things. I for it's been a while. Again, sixth grade. This is a very long time ago. But this is either Iceland or it's Greenland, and I don't think it's Greenland. So I'm going to stick with Iceland. I don't know if I'm going to find Oxnadalshlethi. I think that's... A if I'm going to remember right, one of these... There's two of these uh, letters in Icelandic, and again, I'm probably getting this completely wrong. I'm sorry, Iceland, if I am, but the best way I heard it described is the TH in the and the TH in them. Now, don't ask me to explain anything past that, or if that's even true, but that's what I read it as. And for some reason, I sat there in my sixth grade brain being like, that makes absolute sense to me. I'm going to go back the other way, uh, this way. That makes absolute sense to me. I 100% agree with it. And that's also why one of the reasons that Icelandic is one of the hardest languages to learn. Oh, I got very, very close. Next to the... Now, don't ask me to say what that is, because you got me. I'm, giving, I'm always going to give five stars to Iceland, because I like Iceland. I've never been there. I want to visit it, because... I hear really cool things about it. I don't know why I thought about clicking it there. I just did because there's not many roads on this island. I mean, look at it. Granted, some of it is being developed soon because I believe that's the... That is the volcano island that developed a few years ago, if I remember right. Although I could just be pulling this out of my ass. Really interesting to read about how quickly plant life can develop on land. If you actually read, like reports and studies people have about that volcano island that shot up not too long ago did not take very long for plants and birds actually to i guess colonize that island pretty interesting to read and find out about but for our own purposes we did well i'm gonna say i got every country right that's still technically part of russia i don't know why i should probably look into it but if you know why let me know and while you're doing that uh looking at all the rest of the stuff we have in our channel here i'm gonna thank you for watching uh, if you liked everything here, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, check out our other videos. My other co-host on this channel, we are working our way through Rome Total War, the Greek versions, whatever you want to call that. And we're very closely coming up to our year anniversary of putting videos out on this channel. Uh, I don't know if we have anything really special planned out. We might. You're just going to have to wait and find out. But for everyone over here at uh, Hobbyfest, we uh, thank you for watching and hope you have a good day.